we have all our stuff laid out. It's gonna be a pretty simple process, but again, we're doing the RTI plate along with the hood. So we're going to go ahead and get everything on there. So I have my aluminum, get this going. I always start off by saying, if you are using somebody else's light, go ahead, wrap it in tape. Once you put aluminum on it, you will scratch it. I do not care because again, these are my lights. So we'll go ahead and do that one on the back. Retention on the TLR7 is right here. Some molds do it right here. Um, not really a fan of that one. I like the, the audible click you get off of this guy right here. Plus it doesn't really do a lot of wiggle. However, if you do this and you're down way far, you are gonna get wiggle because only that part is secured in the holster. So all I do is literally just below it. So we'll do it right there. But before we lay this down, I'm gonna go ahead and lay down my five layers. actually easier take a small piece of blocking like I do and throw that down for later all right so uh, it's gonna be right-handed so I'm going to take this side and lay this down like I said it's gonna go just outside and we're gonna leave that cavity right there that way it gets all the retention it needs. All right, and then you know I like to tape it to the light, just to keep it from flopping, because I am going to flip it. Let's go ahead and do this side. Go right there. And with the bolt that's right there, I like to cover it. And I'm gonna cover it with a nickel. those together that way they don't open up and we'll lock that in place so there we go now we just need to <clears throat> do this I can stop here or we could go just a hair further what I'm gonna do is just go a hair further than we need to grab our hood and our blocking for it. I line this button up at the end of it. It's going to go right here. Perfect right there. Go ahead and lock that down. And then our RTI. Looks good right there. to the other side we know that the pivot point is right here so we'll go across line it up so now we're gonna have to go right there 
And let's do the same one again. Or we could set it down just a little bit. Let's see where that is. We'll do that. We'll line it up, make sure we're good. So pivot here, so pivot there. Right where that is. Lock that in place. All right, now we need the retention plate. I'll go ahead, cut that, get everything all set with it. I'll throw it in the oven. We'll see how good this looks. And here we go. I'm just super stoked on how this came out. And only thing one left to do is to have fun with it. So let's get it going. Get some of this crap off. Now we're in business. Line this guy up. Put your mark where you're at. Draw out your lines. No, this is RMR cut. RMR goes to Baya. And we're going to throw a screw there, a screw here. All right, I'm liking that. Let's go ahead and drill everything we need to. And we are looking phenomenal. Quick insert here. Make sure we cut it in the right spot, which we did. It all feels good. So let's get this going. I'm gonna go ahead and clean off all my pencil markings here with some little, little bit of rim oil. I get a rag here. So I just went to uh, I went to the gun store that I work at on Tuesdays, and uh, walk in. There's a big bucket of knives sitting in there, and uh, I saw a knife. And well, I mean, I'm not even gonna. It's not even considered a knife. Things massive. But anyways, I saw it. And I'm like, you know what? I have a vision for this. So I bought the knife, and I just spent the past like 20 minutes cleaning it up. Huh. And if you've seen the movie Aladdin, which I'm sure you all have. I saw this knife and I was like, wow, that just reminds me of the guards from Aladdin. So I bought the knife and I'm going to do some laser engraving on it for a scene 
from Aladdin, and then I'll either sell it or display it. But I couldn't pass it up. It just reminds me of the street rat riff raff, you know. So you might see that in another video. Maybe I'll polish it or powder coat it or do something. But like I said, I'm going to do a a scene from uh, Aladdin on there. But I just thought it was cool. So and I've been eyeing it for a little bit, and I'm like, yeah, you know what? Screw it. It's still here. That means I gotta buy it. All right, let's clean our inside of our holes. All right, everything is all set. I'm liking it. Okay, we went ahead and made our bracket already. There it is right there. So we will take our half inch slotted posts. Throw that bracket on. Then get these guys on here. And after that, we'll take the little guys. Throw those on there. And grab the hood you're using and get that puppy in there. All right. I tighten one, then I reposition. And this one, don't do tight because that's the pivot. So just get it so it's snug. The thread locker will take care of the rest of it. That's good right there. We'll go ahead and we'll take the last half inch guy. And these rubber spacers are 0.473. These allow it to stand up high enough to clear this guy. make this even with the holster and I keep one of these spare and so if you notice it's right up against this some models actually have a, um, a bolt right there so we're gonna go ahead and back this off a little bit so even if there is a screw there it'll still clear it all right let's go do our tension and just get these guys in here and see how it feels it's more awesome And we'll take our pencil and wrap this around to where this needs to go, which is going to be right there. Clean that hole in and out. And this is quarter inch, that's an eighth inch. And then this is the supplied screw for the hood. All right, that's good. So here is the finished product for a Glock Poly 80, the TLR7, threaded barrel, and suppressor height sights. Awesome. Yeah.
Yeah, yeah.